What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, we're gonna do something kind of crazy. We're gonna talk about something different today. So what happens when there's just not very many coops left? What do you do then? Because you know, at this point, finding a coop in a good roller shell and finding a car that's ready to rebuild is getting hard to find. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm talking about today, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Let's get it back into the shop. It's freezing out here. Again, welcome to the channel. My name's Dan. This is Neo Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. Now, what I'm about to show you is some pretty hardcore stuff. If you didn't get a chance to check out my video from the other week, right here, that I was showing you this coupe that I bought and trying to salvage every part off of it. Well, let me introduce you to the donor. Now, this isn't much to look at, guys, and it's actually kind of disgusting. I mean, you could see through both towers, floor pans, A pillars. The torque boxers are both broken. It's in really, really, really poor shape. I mean, look at this frame rail. It's completely, yeah, I could almost see through that one too. I mean, the top is worth saving. It's not bent up. There's no rust on the top or any of the stuff that I'm cutting out. But the bottom half of this car looks like shit. Obviously you can see it. The point I'm trying to make is when I part out a car here at Neo Mustangs, I wanna make sure that I get everything that's usable. And make sure that you guys hit that like and that comment below and let me know what you guys think about what we're doing here because I'm really interested to see because this, this is something that's new to me. This is next level fabrication and shit because I am definitely not a perfect fabricator, but I'm definitely not gonna let this thing go. Like this thing is terrible, it should just go to the scrapyard, right? No. I had a subscriber tell me, hey Dan, you should probably try to save that top, that roof. And I'm like, yeah, well, of course I'm gonna cut the roof off. But then it gave me the idea like, holy shit. I had a friend of mine that created a coupe with a convertible. Now I wanna introduce you to Casey Lee right here. He's a friend of mine. And you can see a couple of the pictures of him actually creating a coupe using an 86 GT body convertible so i'm like well hell i got a shell right here and what better to celebrate the fox body platform than to take this top off that would otherwise just be a pop can in like three years and make that top create a another coupe so what all does that entail dan listen guys if you got a coupe that's low miles it's an original v8 or even medium miles it's in good shape take care of it Coops are getting super hard to find. They were the hardest one to get at this day and age because they weren't even created very much. Coops in the 80s and 90s were not popular. They really weren't popular until probably 20 years later. And then we come to find out that they were the least made. So there's gonna come a day where there's like, you can never find one. Why couldn't we create a convertible coupe? Create a coupe. At least it'll save a top from a car that's rotted like this and at least carry the legend. Enough with the talking. I need to show you what I'm, what the actual physicality and, the, and I need to show you the bones of the project. So when you're getting ready to make a coupe, divert, hatchback, craziness, sheet metal, whatever the hell I got going on, you need to understand spot welds and you need to understand that layering. Inside here, I am gonna to have to deal with multiple layers of sheet metal, but there's a lot of a lot of spot welds that I need to cut out. But what I'm actually gonna do with this, since this is just a part, since this car needs to go to the junkyard, the garbage part of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and plasma torch this as much sheet metal out as I can. So what I've decided to do is start doing some of my own homework right off the bat. So what we started to look for, a lot of you guys don't see this stuff because you have full interior, right? Which is natural, but I'm showing you the bones of the actual Fox body and how easy it is. Legitimately guys, Fox bodies are pop cans. They are put together with thousands and thousands of spot welds, pinch welds and all that other bullshit. They're not a full frame car. So I'm gonna plasma torch around a lot of this stuff so I can get this car out of here. But what I'm gonna save the sheet metal brackets here. You can see this just layers of pinch welds and spot welds and I mean, who's to say I can't, I mean, who's to say I can't take this stuff apart and put it in a convertible? And what I'm gonna show you later on in the channel is the migration from this to a hatchback and a convertible. So yeah, it is crazy taking on a project like this, I get it. But I mean, I'm super interested, I think I'm ready for it. It's not something that I'm gonna do right now, but since this car needs to go, 
and I'm trying to save as much possible I can off this car, I felt this was a good video to at least introduce it to you. Everything is held together literally with spot weight. And what Casey Lee did with the convertible in the pictures that you've seen, is he actually used, because the convertible uses the same body line as a coupe and the same trunk and deck lid and everything. This all looks the same on a convertible. And I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna show you the bones of one. He basically migrated the sheet metal here and he and he migrated the brackets inside here. And he took some of the spot welds out and I'm gonna just take these brackets and literally I'm gonna cut my plasma torch around these and when I get this, this, this top out, I'm gonna clean all these spot welds up and use these brackets again. The convertible and the hatchback has all the same rear. You know, we're talking the same shock tower mount area. We're talking the same tubs. And why can't we take this top and put it on a convertible who has a shitty top anyways? You know, it has the same arms right here. It has the same deck lid, has the same body molding here. So where a convertible would have a top mounted right here, you're gonna just put this whole deck lid in. So I got crazy this week and I ordered a Lodos plasma cutter. It's a pretty baller little unit. It's a 220. I'm gonna actually, the only thing I'm waiting on to cut this top out is I actually have to get an RV adapter to create a 110 for now. But I'm pretty sure at this point that this thing will do everything I need it to do to cut. And I've been kind of slacking. I had a plasma torch before, but it wasn't near as good as this one. This is a pretty good name brand one. And I do use a lot of sheet metal cutting with this when I have to. Well, Sawzall is always easy to use. Let me go show you the bones of a convertible. So I did pick up this white convertible 5.0 that was just a parts car from somebody who had, you know, and it looks like it would probably be a pretty good donor. It's got pretty good pans and what have you. You know, most, you know, it, it looks disgusting, but I don't care about this right now. Now, if you look in the back here, you'll see that some of these brackets are literally all the same. And what you would do with the coupe is you would come in and you would mount the roof and brace the coupe here. There's spot welds in here that you would create. You would take this top off and you would create. This is where you would come in with the quarter window and weld the quarter window in that piece of sheet metal that I drew out. Curves right up into this quarter. And this looks like a really good donor to do this to. And the same thing goes here with the hatchback. You can see that the in internal bones of some of these cars all have the same brackets. So I could unspot weld some of these brackets, create a deck lid area, and literally spot weld these brackets or whatever in the place and create a new deck lid and a new roof in a hatchback. So these bones are literally, you'd be surprised on how much they are the same. So as far as the hatch is concerned, what I'm gonna probably end up doing is just cutting a little more sheet metal out coming back through here and just kind of lining up with the back of the tail, like using these holes as a reference. And of course, you know, using the A-pillar pockets here as reference. And of course the brackets, obviously this is where your rear seat thing would go. The fold down. So I would use this area as reference. Very easy. <clears throat> and I'll be able to cut most of this out with a plasma. So I could use what's excess as a as a reference as well. These th this bracket here, these brackets here. This is all stuff that's the same in hatch and convertible and coupe as far as gen generic mounting point. I'm gonna create a coupe with some of the extra bodies that I do have saving this top. And I think it'll be a really cool project. And yeah, they make body panels for stuff like this, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I would spend way more money trying to put each individual body panel in than just taking a good shell and creating a coupe out of it. And hell, I'm not even totally against cutting my black car and putting it up under the knife if I do pretty good with it, because I've always wanted a coupe anyways, and I always wanted a blacked out one. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I got crazy madness, Mad Max shit going on in my head, I get it. But at least for now, I'm able to save something that's not worth saving. I'm able to take parts and create something. Create a coupe, create a Mustang that people love. Will it be original? No. Is it better me trying to do that? Should I just go get the $8 in scrap that that's worth? Hell no. I got a plasma cutter, I got a welder, and I got the brain to do it. I know I can get it done. Guys, this is some advanced fabricating shit right here. It's a whole nother level. There's a whole nother tier of shit right here. I've never done this before. It's gonna require patience. It's gonna require money. It's gonna require time. And it's definitely gonna require good tools. That's why I bought a plasma. That's why I'm, I'm getting the best spot weld remover drill bits that I can buy. But that's not gonna deter me from doing it. 
So in closing, I wanted to give you guys a quick synapse on what's going on in the garage and why this is here. Yeah, we're parting it out, but at least I'm saving what's more the most important. Before I let you go, some of the most important stuff that you need to pay attention to is you can get the windshield aftermarket. So that's not a big deal, but the rear glass, you're gonna have to save from something and the quarter windows if you can find them. If you do a, a convertible coupe swap, you have to change the doors because they're different because the doors have frames on the coupe. This was just a basic introduction to create a coupe. This is part one, sheet metal madness. I know it's crazy, but we're gonna get this top cut off. I'm gonna probably either do it in my live stream. You know, again, I'm gonna go around all the extra brackets and cut out all I can for this so I can create a coupe. If you're interested in what I got going on, Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Give me some comments below on what you think. Dude, I know there's other people that's done this before. If you enjoy my channel and you enjoy Fox Body content, hit that notification bell for every time I load a video. Guys, I just appreciate you watching. I appreciate you, everybody who takes the time to check out my videos. I got a membership, club membership. If you feel like I've helped you in some of my videos or you feel like you enjoy my content enough, feel free to join the membership club. I also got a merchant myself, buy some merch from me, be awesome. Outside of that, I just appreciate you hanging around this long in this video. This is just an introduction. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>